and gentlemen, we now move on to bout number 15 of the show. So please welcome into the blue corner from the legendary Woking Tie, Tom Field. Do you want to This uh, C-class Muay Thai belt is going to take place over five one and a half minute rounds between Tom Fields from Woking Muay Thai and Otis Salmon from KO Bloodline. Um, both gyms with um, fantastic pedigree of producing good fighters. Um, Woking under the uh, tutorship of the legendary Mick Murphy and KO Bloodline under Paul Murray. Um Again, this should be an interesting battle now of two, two young hungry fighters. This is uh, Tom's second belt um, of his career, and it's actually against the second KO Bloodline fighter. That's right, Mick Murphy in the corner there with his son Chris. Chris, a very good drag at him in uh, Brighton. He uh, he's taken time out to come up and, uh, and corner his fighter here, Tom Fields. Chris was actually, uh, I think Chris was on Britain's Got Talent uh, with his drag act, done very well. Uh, but it's all about the fighting today. Otis Salmon from KO Bloodline, Arnold Aborotov in the corner. Really good pedigree in both sides, two quality gyms. Nice take from Otis there. Very strong, you can see from the corner, Arnold's telling him once he lands those kicks, just to keep pressing forward, don't not allow Tom to recover. That's um, it, and you notice uh, Red Corner is actually a southpaw, making him a bit awkward, giving him that solid left kick, which he is utilizing, and then he switched back to orthodox now. Nice kick. I love the way Otis is switching that stance, you know, he's not giving too much of his game away at the moment. Working him, body kicks nicely though. That's it, back to southpaw again. He switches very well, actually. Some people switch, but they, uh, they're very awkward in the opposite stance than is natural. But uh, Ota seems to switch very well. Just giving, keeping Tom on his toes. This looks like a good matchup, actually. Otis ending the round there with a nice, nicely timed body kick. That's it, good opening round. Round two of this scheduled five round fight. And, um, wow, much quicker already. Tom coming out with uh, working a nice flurry of punches and uh, exiting with some nice kicks as well there. Mm 
Nice return kicks from Otis. Yeah, some good shots from both lads there. Kick on the end, Tom. Get out of the corner. Otis showing dominance, pushing his man back into the corner. Quite an even matchup between these two. Yeah, so I was going to say, I think nice it's a really big, heavy kick there from Tom. Really good matchup with these two. Very evenly matched. It's much better. These boys will both learn a lot from this fight. Win, lose, or draw. Shots there. Otis just picking them leg kicks out now. He's, he's, he's noticing a weakness, I think, in Tom's game, and he, he's reluctant to block them. And, uh, yeah, Tom, Tom strikes well, but he needs to block. He needs to stand his ground and block. Block and counter, nice and strong. See, he throws his shots really well. Need a kick on the end of that, but... Otis just gearing his man up into the corner. Tom needs to whack him now. Don't give him a minute. Good left body kick. Otis is open to that left body kick. You see Tom landing it every time. Hopefully you'll see that. And he'll pop the jab, then the left body kick. But he needs to block that leg kick. Tom, get your leg up, mate. Three of this uh, scheduled five-round C-class Muay Thai belt, and um, both lads now, you know, with the first couple of rounds, really showing what they can do. Um, Otis, you know, I'm liking the way he can switch his stance about, and then working off the kicks on each side. And again, Tom, he's striking really well. Nice team there by Tom. Just nicely timed just before the shot came in. Again, though, he needs to block those low kicks. Those low kicks are really taking effect. time you notice them it's too late nice body uh, head kick there from Otis that's it catch but you need to counter Tom Otis scoring well here Tom's working that body shot well but I'd just like to see a, a nice kick on the end of it he's he's teeing the shots up but they're just on that, from that body shot there just isn't an end product both lads there Left body kick, one apiece. That low kick's got to be taking its toll on Tom's leg. In fact, both legs. Like I said, I think Otis spotted that weakness in the middle of round two. Um, no, it's Tom's reluctance to block them, and now he's just going for go. it. Yep. His um, corner very vocal. With their support and they're, you know, telling him to go for those low kicks. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you've seen that weakness, Tom is not blocking the leg kicks. I'd say that's his only fault so far, really. I'd say he's had a really good fight. Just the fact he's not blocking those low kicks and they're taking effect could get him into real trouble. Very even matchup so far with these two. Yep. <laughs> round four of this scheduled five round bout between Tom Fields of Woking Thai and Otis Salmon from KO Bloodline. And, um, both fighters now really like trying to impose themselves on this. I mean, both guys have, are really showing some real strength here. Both working the body kicks well. I mean, Tom really working them body kicks and the knees with Otis again, 
counter him, some nice body kicks, but some really strong leg kicks. Just want to see start, uh, Tom start blocking them now. I mean, he says a real reddening to both of his legs. And um, again, I mean, he's really going to feel them tomorrow if he don't start bringing those legs up the block. Oh, it just looks like he's gaining in real confidence here. Arnold Borotov getting uh, very vocal in the corner. Jeering on his man. Nice left body kick from Otis. And again, just work, tap on the inside of the leg and then into the body. Oh, again, that leg's going. Tom's leg's going. Unless Tom starts blocking, he's probably only got maybe two, another two kicks to take on that. It's a horrible place to be. Because by this time, you do not want to put your shin in the way. It hurts. There you go. He's really yeah. showing it in his face now. Yeah, you can see. And, um, yeah. Turn yourself around, boy. Tom is a warrior, though. Look at his face, man. You can tell that really hurts. But he's showing real determination. Like you said earlier, Dave, you can, you can teach someone how to punch and kick, but you can't teach art. That's it, he's got a good heart, this boy. This Tom Fields from Woking Muay Thai, he's a tough kid. He's hurting bad, man, he's hurting bad, but he's showing real, real heart here. Fair play to Otis Salmon, doing very well. Good game plan. is uh, round five, the final round of this scheduled uh, C-class belt. Um, both guys, just fantastic show that they've been putting on for everyone here. Yeah, and, absolutely, uh, Warriors. Otis, though, looking at that game plan. They have a plan. They're going to stick to it. Tom needs to get that block up, but I think it's too late. The damage is done in the earlier rounds. Hard to come back from that. That might save him if he moves forward into the clinch. Like I say, Tom's got real heart here. And Proper tough kid. Both guys, looks like it's gonna be a real tentative finish here. I don't think, I think Otis knows he may have just edged it and I, Tom's really going for it now on that front foot. The thing is though, Otis, Otis has done damage. He can move in and he can take control and he can finish this potentially. But Tom's grit and determination is keeping him in there. And he's still coming in hard with his own shots. And Otis is backing off because of it. Look at, look at the pain that Tom is in. But the kid's got heart. Nice body kick there from Tom. Yeah, and good block there. Nice take, very clever fake and take down there from Otis. Again, referee, referee stopping it. There's real damage done there on that you kid. Know, he's real going to see as well. He's put yeah. up such a battle for the previous four rounds to get this far. And